Hey, my name is Paige Greenway and I'm an Emerald Ambassador. And I have, um, first of all, I have hot mess hair, like windblown. Probably should have checked that out first. And also, it's very likely you're hearing the TV in the background. One of my kids may come wandering in. There's no telling what's gonna happen, but that's life. And honestly, it kind of plays into what I wanna talk about today, something that's been on my heart. And that is, how we can take some of the excuses that we have for reasons why we can't do this business or we can't do it to a certain level or we can't be a leader and use those excuses as reasons why actually we totally can do this and we can we can do it well so um, just go with me I know that you're like oh my gosh I've heard this a million times but just go with me okay so when I started this business um, I used every excuse in the book to not actually start this business. I became, I was a preferred customer, I became a wholesale ambassador, um, and I told my friend over and over again, no way, I cannot do this. I have a two-year-old, I had just had a newborn, so at the time I had two boys, two and under, and I was a high school English teacher. And I was like, I just cannot, there's no way I can fit something else on my plate. Um, but as we know, <laughs> as happens so often, when we start to experience some really major health wins, um, sometimes it's hard to keep that to ourselves. And I was experiencing like some really major health victories that I had been praying for and didn't think would ever be possible. And so I did start to share with a few people just privately. And I realized really quickly that I was making real dollars from that. <laughs> which blew my mind. And so I, I turned this um, idea of I do not have time or any more space into, wow, this could be something that could free up my time and space. So this is something I want you to think about. Like, if you feel like, okay, I'm at this job or I've committed to all of these things, I'm just super, super busy, especially if it's another job, is what you're doing going to ever be able to provide an avenue, an avenue of time freedom for you? Or is it just gonna stay the way that, it's, that it is right now? Are you ever going to be able to get to a place where you are going to be able to be able to step back, maybe um, make your own hours, work from wherever you want? Is that ever gonna happen? in the lane that you are currently in. I'm not saying quit your job, but I don't know. I'm not saying don't. And so that's the place that I actually found myself um, about, I don't know, several months. I started um, as a customer in May of 2015. I became um, a wholesaler in September of that year. And I kind of started like dabbling, just dabbling in like January or February of that next year. Well, then all of a sudden, and I started making some good money because I was just um, getting some customers. And my husband, who's a pastor, he's like, I don't know what in the world you're doing, but keep doing it, okay? This is awesome. So suddenly in May, um, I was faced with a decision of teaching. I had gotten to where I was able to do half days teaching, which is incredible and super rare, but they wanted me to go back full time, and I just didn't want to do it. We did not feel peace about doing it. And suddenly I was faced with this decision of, do I go all in and make some sacrifices and like really give this my all? Or do I play it safe? And do I hang on to this security net of this job that I don't love the hours. I don't love the responsibilities and the demands on my time. I love my students, but that's about it. <laughs> and so, um, we decided to kind of see what it was like, ripping that safety net out from under us. I understand that that is not possible for everybody, but we decided it was gonna be worth it for us to give it a try. And so I did, I went all in. And let me tell you something else. So that leads me to my next thing. I've been hearing a lot of, um, from, from just from all, like all over, not, not on my team, but from all over the place, um, of people who maybe are missing out on some upline support. Now, 
praise the Lord, that's never been my situation. My sponsors, like my sister, and um, we talk a million times a day. But um, I know that there are some people who don't have, they don't have maybe even a working sponsor or they didn't really know that person or that person is not really doing the business anymore, whatever the thing is. Um, if you feel like you do not have a working upline, I'm gonna say some things to you and you may wanna punch me, that's okay. I'm sorry for you but it's okay, it almost doesn't matter. And I know you're like, Paige, you just said your sponsor is amazing, okay? And that's true. But, and with all due respect to her, I did not end up a jewel because of my sponsor, okay? She was definitely a huge part of it and she was right there with me, but I became a leader because I pushed myself out of my comfort zone. And so I wanna talk about that. Um, I decided, you know what? Yeah, I've gotta make this thing work. I just quit my teaching job, so I better figure out how to build a team and how to like coach a team and see how to really grow this thing and duplicate instead of just being my own rock star recruiter. That's great, but I've gotta duplicate. And so um, what I did was I went to convention that's a story for another day. It rocked my world. I came back and I decided I got to step it up. I do have to be a leader. And so I threw myself into the deep end. Edge had been released at that convention. And I said, you know what? I'm going to run a seven day slim and edge challenge. I've never run a challenge in my entire life. Never. Okay. I did not have the first clue what to do. I didn't even know how to make a Facebook group. Nothing. And I just said, somebody help me. So I learned how to make a Facebook group. I pulled information from um, like an old Slim Challenge. I pulled the information released from corporate about Edge. I was testing it. Uh, some of my friends were testing it. We talked about what we were experiencing. I'm sure it was probably a hot mess. <laughs> but guess what? It gave me so much confidence to know, oh, I can totally do that. I can totally do that. And I was, I was just a new ambassador figuring it out on the fly, okay? You do not have to have all of the bells and whistles, all the tricks, all of the answers to every single thing in order to get started. But let me tell you something else. Even from that time, we have so many more resources than we did then. Um, and corporate has even just like this week um, rolled out a brand new um, set of, of resources in our virtual office, especially for onboarding new ambassadors. It is amazing. There are so many tools out there, so many tools. And so nobody is ever going to be left up a creek without a paddle, okay? But if you are feeling kind of on the fringes, if you are feeling like, oh, I'm not really a leader, I don't really feel connected, I'm feeling kind of left out, I'm feeling kind of overlooked, I'm feeling kind of, it's probably because you are. And so what I would say is step up and take some leadership. I was talking to some leaders on my team the other day. Never in a million years would I say no to somebody coming to me saying, hey, can I run this trial this month? What do you think? Hey, could I share some posts sometimes on our team page? Hey, would you mind if um, I, you know, put together this group for us and blah, 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 blah. No, I am waiting. I love, and I would venture to say any other leader that you know loves when people step up and decide to take initiative. We are chomping at the bit for those people. And so if you're feeling overlooked or if you're feeling unsure about your leadership abilities or about your ability to put something together of value, just do it. Like really, truly, just try. Just reach out and volunteer as tribute and give it a shot because all it's gonna do is build your confidence, build your skill set, raise your leadership lid, and um, catapult you to that next level. I promise you, you don't have to have it all together. You don't have to have it perfect. You're not going to. Nothing I do is remotely perfect. Ask my team. They will totally verify that. 
Um, but we learn as we go. We're all in the same boat. And if you decide to kind of put yourself out there, I promise you it will be received, it will be appreciated, it will be noticed, and it will be used. Um, and it will be valuable. It will be valuable. So link arms, maybe you, maybe you don't have that, that upline, link arms with a sideline, find somebody else that can help um, give you the direction that maybe you need or are craving, but go for it. Don't sit back and wait go for it, decide that you are going to be the leader that your team needs. So let's do it.